Hello, I'm Will Winder, and I'm going to be talking about a test integration tooling framework we've been working on. I'll go over the design and give a demo. Before getting started, keep in mind the contents of this presentation are all subject to change. We're specifically looking for your feedback. Uh, currently, it is not scheduled for release. So uh, first, we'll be talking about the vision of this tool, going over some of the target use cases, and then getting into the design. At the end, we'll go over a POC for JUnit 5, and I'll give a demo. So the vision is simple. Essentially, we want to provide a way to write integration tests and integrate directly with existing developer tools across multiple languages. So in this diagram, we've got the RPC server. In the middle, it's doing the heavy lifting for the private networks on the right, and it's interacting with uh, existing testing tools like PyTest and JUnit on the left. So the target audience here, really it's all about the developers. So we want to dramatically improve the typical workflow. Uh, this is done a little bit indirectly through the tools. And for that, uh, the other audience is tool builders. So this RPC service is an integration layer, which is gonna do the hard work for managing these networks and providing other sorts of utilities. Okay, so this is the current design. So in the prototype, we have a JSON RPC 2.0 interface, and we're exposing a handful of RPC commands, so network start and network destroy for managing a private network, and some system management commands, so a health command and shutdown. In the future, we expect this would expand to things like assertion utilities, uh, like asserting on application state directly or account state, things of that nature. And we would also want uh, ways to uh, initialize the network, maybe setting an app state directly or managing account state. So for the prototype, uh, we have a, a command that we've been calling Goron. Uh, here's how you would start the RPC server. Once started, you can then start executing RPC commands. So here we've got a network start command, and we provide a couple parameters. So in this case, the network is going to be named test network, and it is setting dev mode to true. When that completes after a couple seconds, it's going to give you all the information relating to that network, um, specifically tokens, a URL, and some account information, including the private key. This, uh, this uh, network is actually running directly on your machine. There's no Docker involved here. Okay, here's another example. In this case, this is network destroy, and we're destroying the same test network. So using these building blocks, we created a POC. So here's what a JUnit 5 integration could look like. Um, so this is a fairly conventional Java test that's using annotations, and we've created a new one called Algorand Private Network. And on that <laughs> command, we've got a dev mode flag, so you can configure it in this way. And when you provide the annotation, you get access to this parameter. So it's using a parameter resolver in order to inject that. And that object provides a bunch of convenience methods here. Specifically, uh, we have the algod client. This is the SDK client instantiated and connected to the private network. And then we have all that network start information. So the, the account uh, and the private key associated with that account. And here's another example. In this case, we're defining an annotation at the class level. So in this way, we could say, create a single private network and share it across multiple tests. So how does this work? Uh, essentially, it's using standard hooks for JUnit 5. So a parameter resolver interface is being extended in addition to implementing an after each callback. So in this way, when the user test code is written, the JUnit 5 test runner knows to call into the Algorand extension before and after in order for the extension to manage the resources. So the extension is actually starting the RPC server, and then it's managing calls into the RPC server for uh, controlling the network. So with this, we'll move on to a quick demo, and I'll show you the, this POC in action. So here we are inside of IntelliJ, and we have our test program opened. So if I open up our first test class here, so this is exactly what we saw in the demo. 
and we've got these two functions uh, dev mode test and the simple test and if you run the test suite it's going to run just like any other JUnit test and in the lower left you can see we're running simple test that's going to take a little bit of time to run so in this case it took nine and a half seconds and then we run the dev mode test and that runs quicker just like you would expect and if i open up this other one you can run it in the same way so in this case it's going to share some resources across the two tests so what's going on behind the scenes here is that each one of these is going to uh, start the rpc server create a test network and then run the test against that network before tearing it down uh, or in the case of this test it's only creating a single rpc server and it's shared across both tests